Hi, this is Brother Kian once again. Welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry, where we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning. Um, this video is to warn people in these end times, and I'm warning especially the true believers that uh, they should not be caught up into the deception which is going on in this day and age, because one of the mark of the soon return of our Lord Jesus Christ is that be careful lest you are deceived. Be careful. And the Bible says that even if it was possible, the elect would be deceived if it was possible. So you realize that one of the mark of the end times is great deception. And one of the things which is deceiving people right now is many people are chasing after what they, they can get from God. And not for they are not seeking God for a personal relationship with the Son Jesus Christ. A personal relationship with God through His Son Jesus Christ for God to transform them and to, for them to become like Christians. People have now uh, into what they can get from God without giving their lives over. So now the devil has also sent in millions of agents deceiving many. And today I want to warn you about the what is called the holy water. The holy water and even what people call the anointing water, which today... A lot of the holy waters and anointing oil people are receiving from people, different pastors and prophets and teachers and whatever. Many of them are from the marine kingdom, the city under the sea, from the queen of the coast. And when these people begin to be putting their confidence in this holy water, in this holy anointing oil, they are contaminated and they are marked by the devil and they belong to the devil because they were not truly seeking for God. They were seeking for a man of God or seeking for a miracle. They were miracle seekers or they were seekers of human beings. But their main heart was not about Jesus Christ, about knowing him, about being transformed, about being prepared for the soon return of Jesus Christ. It's all about what they could get. And the devil, knowing the state of human beings, he allows these false teachers and prophets to come into their lives and take their eyes off the truth, the word, holiness righteousness, purification, trans, um, sanctification, and being focused on knowing God, being transformed to be like Christ Jesus. And so today I want to tell you about the holy water and anointing oil. I want you to know that there's a biblical way of using the anointing oil. There's a biblical way of everything. And there's also a deceptive everything that we see as a counterfeit. It's because there is an original. But today I want to warn some people about where you get your holy oil from or your anointing oil from. Today, people are soliciting and looking for holy water, holy water uh, oil, um, anointing oil from everywhere without even knowing the background of the person and where these things are coming from. This is um, how uh, an ex-wizard, um, a sorcerer, um, who was into the things of occult, want, um, explains where, where they manufacture this holy water. In even the Catholic Church, I'm talking about the Catholic Church and many of these uh, churches where you go and they give you a specific oil, um, anointed oil and say this oil, whatever you are looking for, it can do miracles and all those things. And then you go to a place and they give you a holy water and they say use this water and it's going to, do you know where it's coming from? I'm going to give you an idea where an ex-wizard, how they manufactured this holy water and anointing oil and give it to the masses and deceive them now this is his account the many many of these uh, anointing oil remember it is in the spiritual or the invisible world these things are taking place spiritually in the invisible world and then are brought in into the physical with the baptism of the so you see the thing physically and it will look so innocent but spiritually it has been contaminated Spiritually, it has been polluted. Spiritually, demons have been given over into this water, into this oil, for a purpose of deceiving the person. So you see the water and say, what's wrong with this water? There's nothing to it. No, 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 no. It's the source. And the things I'm about to tell you is what they did, not in the physical, but in the spirit. And now there's a spirit attached to that holy water you are drinking or using. There's a spirit behind the anointing oil that you receive from that strange person. 
Do you understand? And that's why you have to be careful where you go, who you're, is giving you what. I'm, I'm going to reveal to you. I personally, I believe in the anointing of you because the Bible says that if somebody is sick, let them call the elders. Let them anoint the person. With the prayer of faith, the sick will be healed. Uh, the Bible talks about Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. The Bible says that, and his burden will be taken off your shoulder, his yoke off your neck, and, and by the reason of the anointing oil, the yoke will be broken. The anointing oil. The Bible talks to us about Mark chapter 6 or so, how the disciples went about anointing people and healing them. There's a significance about the anointing oil. If you get a true man of God, or many times even when people come, I say, you hold, get your own oil, let's pray on it, let's believe God for his blessing on it, and then let God... Uh, have faith in Christ Jesus and pray and use it as a point of contact. So you get your own oil and we pray on it. We trust God. But when people are going to different sources, seeking for this and putting their confidence, don't put your confidence in a holy water or holy oil. Other than that, you have become an adorator and you have made that pastor or first prophet or teacher a psychic and they are going to deceive you. Listen to how it is manufactured. When they go to the city under the sea, when they go to the marine kingdom, there are three places where they manufacture this oil. They have the first room called the Black Room. They have a place in the marine kingdom, the deep oceans, especially the Atlantic Ocean. That's where the queen of the coast is. They, they have the Black Room. The Black Room is where people, people are killed, victims of satanic and demonic death. This is where the witch doctors, the wizards, and the demons orchestrate events to kill the masses. Remember, the devil is all about stealing, killing, and destruction. So many people who are dying through car accidents, through sicknesses, through all sort of getting drowned, and when they kill you spiritually, it manifests in the physical. But when you die and you don't know Jesus Christ, immediately they drag you into the spirit realm, into the black room. And so the, the people who are dying without Jesus Christ and the devil and through his witchcraft and demons and principalities have killed, they take them to death, this first room, the black room. And in that black room where the victims are executed, they kill the people. They kill the people. Then they move you over to the next room. That is called the intermediate room. The intermediate room is where the victims, that witchcraft, through sicknesses, through accidents, through mysterious death, through you know, any way the devil and his demons have killed you. After they have killed you in, and put you in the black room, they take you to the intermediate room. And in the intermediate room, what they are doing is to extract water out of the victim's body. Anyone who died by demonic witchcraft death, they extract water out of the body of the victims. What are they using this water for? This is where, spiritually, they are giving people this, what is called the holy water. They give the holy water out there. And so this water is put in a flask. For when they do it for the Pope, they give it to the Pope. And they put this um, holy water in a flask. They give it to the Pope and they put the Pope put this water in a flask. And that's what they use it for their uh, mass and all those Catholic stuff. It is all engineered. Remember, any true Christian who is seeking for Jesus Christ, if you want to know the truth, you realize that most of the, all the popes, they are into occult, they are into satanism, they are, they have, they are controlled by Lucifer and the Antichrist spirit. They are not for God. And every pope that comes in, the devil has an assignment for the pope. No wonder this present pope, Pope Francis, he has started endorsing um, gays and lesbians. He is trying to unify the Christianity. It's an agenda. And they, before they can be elected as even popes, they are already initiated in the marine kingdom. Seriously. If you are a Christian and you are following after the Catholic Church, worshiping uh, saint and doing all sort of these rituals, and you, you, you are deceived. Wake up. Now I'm talking about the holy water, which is now, so we are in the intermediate room where they are extracting water from the people's body and then uh, putting it. And in the same way, now the next way is that they burn, the last room is called the dry room. The dry room is where they burn the body into ashes, and, and then they give the ashes. Where, whenever they are doing masses, they use it to mark people's forehead. In the same way, majority of the occultic pastors, they are using the same. Recently, T.B. Joshua, people are going to his church with holy water, holy water. When he came to my country, Ghana, people died. Almost four people died, stampeding, all because of holy water. Be warned, if you follow after these things, you are doomed because 
all this holy water anointing oil they are coming from the marine kingdom may god help you